Do you want to go first? Let's do it. All right. What do we got? We're out here at where are we at? Um, the, the angry the Italian. Spain. Very sweet name, cool place. Having a great time. UVA is on the television, watching some UVA basketball. They're not playing great defense right now, but that's okay. We're gonna get back in it. Um, as for the pizza, seven point three eight. Um, good pizza. I liked a lot about it. I liked that it was in squares. Um, I also liked that the pepperonis were underneath the cheese. Something about that uniqueness just like gets the juices flowing. The pepperonis were really good, and the cheese was in excess, which I mean that in a good way. Like it was, love the cheese. It was good. Um, I thought the sauce was very tomatoey, which I'm not crazy about. I'm more about like a tangy sauce. Um, but, you know, I, I bod with the sauce okay. Colton, I know you're gonna dislike me for this. I did not like the crust at all. It's like communion crackers, except without the salt on them. <laughs> so it's just like flavorless communion crackers. Like someone's licked all the salt off of them already. Um, yeah, I, so I couldn't really vibe with the crust. And then the sauce was just a little mad. It was just like t tomatoey. And there was a lot of sauce on it. So one thing that kept happening was the cheese. Like I had to go, I had to go for a fork at some points because like if you ate it with your mouth, like it would just slide all the cheese right off unless you had cut it off because like the sauce like made it all slippery and slidey down in there. <laughs> but 7.38, very good score. Enjoyed it. Unique. <laughs> I've got a rebuttal to that. So I would like to say, what was my rating last week for, for Mama Mia's? 9.0. 9-0. This week, we got a 9-1, baby. Uh -oh. All right, now, the reason why, let me tell you. So, this is where Troy and I differ um, in our pizza taste. In our palates, our palates. Mine being slightly more refined. I like, no, I'm just kidding. But I am a, I'm all about, my favorite pizza in the world is just pizza on a cracker. And this, this is 100%, I think Troy described it almost perfectly. It tastes like a communion cracker, which I love. I love that. I love that so much. I think also this week, akin to last week, really good tangy tomatoey sauce. Mm, very great. Also, the cheese is very good. This one had the most like, almost like natural taste. Like it felt, it, when I like had it in my mouth, it tasted very like, Natural. Nothing was forced. It was a good blend. A good blend of natural flavors. Um, but yeah, sauce was super great. I just personally love pizza on a cracker, and that is exactly what this. I could not be more happy right now. This is my favorite pizza that we've had so far, um, and the sauce was above average. I would say very great. I like a kind of tangy sauce as well. So they're just they're they're ticking all the right boxes with me here. So I really, really enjoy it. Hey. <laughs> I gave it 8.29. It was higher originally. But the thing was, like the aftertaste, I really started to think more philo philosophically uh -huh. on, how, on, on how this sauce tasted and how the crust was and really after eating the crust at Mamma Mia's, this crust doesn't compare. Like, this crust is just like, it's just not like, it's just not the same. Unless you love pizza on a cracker. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know hey, the cheese. Hey, the cheese out there. I don't know. It's gonna I, be feel like, I feel like Colton thinks he's talking it up. Dude, when <laughs> there's going to be some of you guys out there who know what I'm talking about. You just love thin crust pizza with all your heart, and, you, and you're, not, you're not into like a very well seasoned, you know, crust. And I'm with you, and that's me. And that's all I love. Uh, I kind of liked the sauce. It was different, but it was like too tangy for me, like too tomato-y, I guess. And the cheese was super good. The cheese pool was great, but the adhesive that they that most pizza places normally apply between the sauce and the cheese was lacking, in my opinion. It kind of slid off as you would yeah, eat the it. Yeah, cheese like slot. We have a tough time getting enough cheese on this pizza. Nice little pepperoni right there. Though. Yeah, if you fold, it's a good folding, I guess. If you or, or if you roll it or fold it or something, because the dough is so thin. Mm -hmm. If you are a, a pizza folder, it's good for you. This is a good pizza fold. But if you are a uh, flat pizza person, 
probably not for you.